All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Contracts Window Plus mod, which is being made by form user DMagic. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an extraordinarily useful new UI element, which allows you to view all of the contracts you have in career mode in a much more sortable and customizable way, which is wonderful. Now, of course, typically in the game, if you want to see what contracts you have active, you either go into here into the mission control to view them, or of course, head to this button here, which, I mean, it works. It'll show you basic information, but it's, you know, like many things in this game, it's functional, but not the greatest. Now, what the Contracts Window Plus mod adds in is this lovely button down here, which if we click, brings up the Contracts Plus UI, which has so many more options. So let's talk about how you do use this thing, and we'll start up at the top uh, with the different option uh, things up here. And the first is the Sort option, and we can choose to sort our list of contracts by either difficulty, expiration, acceptance, reward, Ward, type, or even planet. And you just select whichever one, and then you can toggle either ascending or descending, which is useful to have. We then also have the ability to show hidden contracts, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a moment because it involves looking at some of the options here. But you can toggle between hidden contracts or active contracts. And then the last thing is mission lists. And this Oh boy, this is my favorite thing in this entire mod. Now, again, even with Contracts Plus, by default, you just kind of see everything in a big list, like you do over here in the standard uh, contract viewer. But here, you can actually create mission lists, which you can then put individual contracts into, or groupings of contracts into, to only look at them. So if you're planning a mission out to the moon, for instance, you can put all the contracts in your all contracts list, which is the default list, that involve the moon into your moon base list. So those are the only ones you see in the UI. And that, that alone makes this mod worth it to me. It's just such a useful thing. And while you are in here, you can edit the name of the mission list if you so desire, or even delete it if you do want. Which, uh, we'll just go ahead and delete that one for the heck of it now. And as you can see, we're just back to the all contracts list. Now, down at the bottom of our UI element here, we then have a toggle tooltips, which as you can see, anytime I go over a button, we get our little tooltip. If you turn that off, we no longer get the tooltip. Pretty self-explanatory there. We then have the reset window option, which is a useful thing because whenever you're, say, for instance, in a mission and you actually complete a contract, it may not update it right away off of your list, and uh, you can actually reset the display, which will reset the entire Contracts Plus window to its sort of all defaults of everything being in here and spread around and expanded, but it will also actually refresh your list here. It's not something you have to do often, but it's it, occasionally it does seem to sort of not remember, or well, rather not forget a thing you did. Now, if you do close this and reopen it, it also should refresh uh, if you have finished any contracts. But yeah, it's not uh, something you'll use often. Now, the next thing is the window scale option, where we can select to have a, a pixel perfect window, a large font option in here, and ignore KSP UI scale, and then we can even scale the window ourselves. Now, by default, it's down here at 100, but I decided to uh, have it up here at 130 so that it's easier for all of you guys to see on the video. And quite nice to have that, and of course you can go all the way up to 200 or all the way down to 50%, which is pretty handy. And then we have the toolbar option button here where we can replace the stock toolbar or use the stock UI style. And if we actually turn this off, this is what the uh, mod looks like by default. This is what it'll come in as but I like having it look like it's a part of the game. So there we go, use the stock UI elements. 
And last, we then have this little bit here so we can expand the UI to whatever size we desire. Now, the one thing I have with this is you can't seem to go beyond that width. Uh, I wish I could because I'd like to take up more room, but oh well, you can expand it down pretty far, but you can only go out that far. Now, as for the actual options in here of all of your contracts, well, this is a pretty useful thing. As you can see, we have all of our contracts listed with their title, just like we see over here. And we have their star difficulty, their expiration date. We then have a button to show what contract agency it's with. We can then also hide the contract if we so desire, which brings into play that hidden contract button here. So if you don't want to see it on here, it's just taking up space, you can hide it. And then if you want to turn it back on, you can look for hidden contracts and reactivate it. We can then pin the contract so it stays up at the top. And then we have the option here of adding it to a mission list. And again, this is my favorite option. We can just click that and either select an existing list or create a uh, new one here. So we just click in there. There we go, create the test list. And now that contract is in our test list. And if we click it, it's the only one in there. And again, I just really, really love that feature. It's wonderful. Uh, it's pretty great. And actually, uh, if we do go back to test, we also have the ability to edit the mission list in here, if we so desire, where you can change the name or delete the mission entirely. So if we click that, once again, it's gone from our list, which is pretty useful. Now, then over here, we have the uh, requirements for the mission. And then if we expand or no, sorry, this is the reward for the mission. And then if we expand this, we get all the additional information here and the rewards for each of those, which is quite handy to have. So we have all that lovely stuff again, similar info to what we get here, but we have the ability to, you know, control what we see much more easily. Now we do have another fun option. If we actually do go up to where it says all contracts, it's not the only thing we can see. If we'd like to see our progress records, we can click right here and we get this lovely new selection of UI tools where we can see the interval nodes. If we've passed any altitude, speed, or distance records and what we did get for them, which is quite nice to see. We then have these standard nodes where we get uh, missions that we have done. Uh, we've recovered our first crew. And then if we expand that, we can even see what the mission was which is very nice. And then we also have the option of looking at records we've had for celestial bodies. Now I've only done Kerbin ones so far, but if you had any others in here, they would be listed and you just click it. And again, you see what you get and then you can expand it to see what the ship was and when you got it. Very cool things to be able to see that right in here and just easy to view and it's a nice option to have. But back to contracts and uh, yeah, I mean, that's the main thrust of the mod here to have the ability to more easily control how you see things, what sorting, separate them into list as you so desire, and then, you know, have as much or as little info as you'd like to see. Now, if we actually do, Oh boy, which is the one that I was looking forward to test here? Uh, nope. Oh, it looks like I may have accidentally completed it earlier. I was going to show off uh, what it happens when you do actually complete a thing, but I accidentally completed it, it would look like. But basically, if you do complete it, it shows up with a little green. The achieved goal bit here turns green to show you that, hey, yeah, you did it. Good on you. And then eventually, once you, like I said, either close and reopen it or reset the window, it'll eventually go away and become a part of your progress node records. And so, yeah, that is the, ooh, I actually probably should show off that, of course, if we're in the VAB or space plane hangar, we do still have the option of showing this in here, which is handy to have. We also do have the option while in flight. So if we do go to my intended test craft, which I seem to have messed up, 
Yay, good on me. <laughs> uh, we can, of course, still view this UI in flight as well. And here is where that mission list really comes into play. So you can keep track of everything going on in your mission and not have all the other clutter of just all of this, which is pretty nice. So yeah, that is, uh, well, really it for the Contracts Window Plus mod. It's a fun tool that I honestly forgot existed until it just recently updated, actually as of today of me recording this video. And uh, yeah, it's a very useful tool that makes viewing your contracts a lot more convenient. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but uh, that is gonna be it for this episode my friends i hope you all have enjoyed that you do come back for the next when hopefully we'll be looking to get another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one